So what do, you, what do you think of the question? Do you think that, you know, she'll steal the election? I was a big fan of Bernie. And he stabbed you in the gut. I mean, he, yeah, the, he yeah. even the convention gets the information saying that everything you said, Bernie, was real. So he rigged the election. Now go in there and get it from her. And what did he do? Endorsed her. That is the biggest political betrayal I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I don't... Uh... I don't have a lot of love for this election. Yeah. I can't help this. I, well, I, you're going to hate me if I open my mouth. What? What is there about Bernie in his past that said, yeah, he'd make a good president? What is there yeah. about Trump's fucking past that said he'd be a good no, president? Bernie, or, he named a post office. Or even what, would it, what is it Clinton other than being married to the president at one point? At least she, she's done some political things, I'll give her that. But you know, all of them bad, you know. <laughs> All of them that should have put her in jail. I like to just. Well, you're looking at it. You can get it, it if you different. get this way. You overtake a country like ours gradually. You can't do it all at once. I'm on your side. I believe all this. Yeah. Just, and I just want somebody to know. Every person ever yeah. has lied to us. Well, he's, he's never I can appreciate that, but that's not our guy either. Man. Why not? Him? Yeah. Oh. Why? Do we, do we have to? I mean, yeah, we have to be specific. If we're the Mr. Field Manager, if we're going to be the, the leader of a party that claims to be more majority, we probably shouldn't have a stripper wife be, you know, divorced three times. Or the only thing he's done in his entire career is be a as opposed to one that gets a blowjob in the Oval Office. I don't and, disagree with and, that. And, and has rape charges. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not you know, disagreeing with you. And I would have took. And that has nothing to do with his leadership. I would have took, well, come on. Oh, yeah, How it's many real times crazy. has he been bankrupt? He never paid anybody that built this building. Yeah, how many businesses have I mean, you're looking for credibility. Have you ever had, have you even have opened a business of your own other than work for somebody did. else? Or you know? I did. And what happened to it? I chose to stop. But I closed but, it. Okay, so you're all, but everybody, you know, most businesses, when they first, most businesses don't last the first year, they go bankrupt. Exactly. Yeah. So if you have a lot of business, you're going to get a certain but That still has nothing to say about his leadership qualities of being president. We're talking about the policies he's talking about. Because this, what brought Sanders to this popularity was, and here's the deal. If you listen to Sanders' speeches and Trump's speeches, yep. the reason they both became popular is because they both had the same speeches. They were talking about this election being against the people, against corruption and government. That's what this was about. And that's why they both rails to popularity. The, the Sanders sold you out, gutted you. This man called it out and stayed in and had the guts to do it. And you're calling him unfit when you've got the guy that fucked you. You don't think for a half a minute that his love for Putin isn't a little off-putting? What off -putting? Love for Putin? Where do you get this garbage from? What in fantasy land? You talk about conspiracy theory. I'm not, I, Where's no, this no, no, come no, no. from? I'm not and a what's conspiracy wrong with theorist. having good relationships with Russia? I'm not what a the hell is wrong with that? I'm not a conspiracy a, theorist. No! But telling then you're come, then where's tell, the proof that he's in love with Putin? Telling, oh, like, listen to him. This is I did! Tell him, to, tell him that he's going to hack. Come on, hack me. Find your emails. Well, who brought that up for crying out loud? That came from the goddamn left. Don't you get it? They're trying to oh, the Richards are coming. The Russians are the boogeyman. You got to quit listening to the left press, Jack. I don't think anybody's the boogeyman, but vote for him and you deserve what you get. Uh, go back to watching the garbage you watch on the liberal media.